I would describe my look as blonde bombshell Barbie with huge hips. <laughs> very much feel like a very powerful superhero, a transgender superhero. Unfortunately, even with all the positives throughout my transition, there's also been a lot of negative moments. Me and my two friends were attacked. This really changed my life completely. My name's Eden, I'm a model, and I live in Los Angeles, California. So since the last time you saw me five years ago, I've been blessed enough to be in a whole bunch of music videos for some of my favorite artists. I've been featured in fashion shows. I worked with amazing, amazing people and have really built a strong foundation for my career. So a lot of people speculate on what I have done. Had a boob job, I've had fat taken out of my waist and put into my boobs, and I've had silicone injections all throughout my body. And uh, oh yeah, I had voice surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Boy surgery, probably the biggest life-changing surgery I've ever had because it's really, really changed my life. Unfortunately, even with all the positives throughout my transition, there's also been a lot of negative moments. Being on social media, I'm completely used to the hate comments, but there have been times where it happens in person. Last year, me and my two friends were attacked this really changed my life completely. I felt so alone and I really thought that that was gonna be the end. Trans women get murdered all the time. Even with what happened to me, I can sit here and still be grateful because I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm alive. I became such a boss I was so focused on putting that man in jail on getting justice for me and my sisters. That situation made me such a powerhouse of a woman. So I'm going to see my doctor, which I'm super excited about because we'll determine if I'm finished my transition or not. How are you? you? It's been oh, so God. long. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you, thanks to you. Wow. You're giving me too much credit, but I'll take it. Oh Come God. with me. Oh, yes. Okay, so we did the, the fat grafting here, which looks very good. I can see that. And we did the lipo on your hip area here to give you a more feminine waist. And it actually worked better than I thought it would. So as a doctor, you don't think I need anything else to... I really don't. I think you should come back in about 45 years and we'll do your face and neck. <laughs> Till then, you're free. You are perfection. You're very feminine. The voice, the face, the breast, the waist, the whole thing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, thank you. You've, you've been amazing. So I'm going to downtown LA to shoot with my two favorite photographers, Gio Leon and Chris Hernandez. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? Hey. How are you? Good to you. Good to see you again. I'm going to go with this one for today. Definitely fits your aesthetic, so. It gives yes. bougie. I it love it. Dope, so you I guys always choose the best time. Right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. For the second look, I want something like more pop art fashion. This is the outfit that I've never fit in. <laughs> that outfit that I'll be wearing for this photo shoot, I've never fit in. <laughs> it was gifted to me by Marco Marco during my first fashion show before I transitioned. I just knew that one day I would fit into this outfit. Super excited. This is the look I can finally fill out. Very much feel like a very powerful superhero, the transgender superheroes. I love it. What I see in my future is more advocating. I really want to focus on my advocacy, not only trans rights, but for LGBT rights, and to continue my social media career to hopefully inspire more people and be that person that I didn't really have growing up. Looking back at everything I've overcome just makes me so so happy. It's all over. But not only that, it makes me feel just grateful. I'm happy I did all that.